married to a, a notorious gangster <laughs> from Chicago. Uh, he looked like an accountant, though. He had some issues, and he wanted to go and, you know, tear up the label. He did that, and, and I, I took a lot of grief for that, you know, lost a lot of years in my career. It was almost like Muhammad Ali being put in jail when he was at his fighting weight. It was a difficult situation being married and stuff like that, but whatever. It's, no, it's not like, oh, it's the end of my world or it changed me, so, you know. Yes, it does something to your self-esteem for someone to hit you and frighten you, but it does a lot for your self-esteem to say, if you don't get the fuck away from me, when you learn how to say that and mean it, no, no, you don't have a problem anymore. Women, if you're in an abusive situation, kill that. It's the only choice you really have. Cut him wide and long. That's the only one, you know, really, the police are not gonna do anything, you know. You have to take care of yourself in every level. When you make the decision to get married or, or couple up with people, you make the decision to accept the consequences, whether they're good or bad. And they were bad, but God is better. So, you know, I feel that I learned so many things that help so many people now. I wouldn't be any good right now. I, you know, I don't know what I'd be doing, probably home satisfied with my life and myself and not really understanding and realizing and having empathy for other people that go through these things. I can never be Beyonce. I can never be Tina Turner. I love them. I, I just don't see that I can ever entertain 30,000 people and not start wondering why are they all here or what are they gonna do to me or something weird. I'm like, what is everybody doing? <laughs> like, it would freak me out. I couldn't, I don't think I could live and, and not be able to go to the market. I walk to the store and I enjoy it. You know, um, and I enjoy that um, other artists like Stevie Wonder and Nancy Wilson and Aretha Franklin and Shaka Khan know me and they're my friends and they respect me. That's important to me, I like that. I don't think I wanna go to the bank and everybody comes running out and you know, I can't find, I can't keep counting my money, I don't know what's happening, I don't like it, I don't think I'm cut out for that. It's, it's all about giving, putting the pieces to this puzzle called life, and being a positive influence. It's about, at the end of the day, when you close your eyes and you turn your, your time card in, and you say, I did my part to bring love to the world. I did my part to show the world God. That's what's important. See, this is what made me cry. That's what is important. To, to, to be that piece in the puzzle that brings peace on earth. Be that peace in the puzzle that brings love. That's what's important. I don't know what it takes to make it in this business. I've not made it in this business. I have just stayed in this business. That's it. I have not re reached any pinnacle of oh, success. I don't have one Grammy. I have nominations. I got maybe a joint Grammy. I, I'm, I'm not what is uh, considered successful in show business. I'm uh, an enduring and endearing person. I said success in show business is those awards and big paychecks and those, that kind of thing. I'm not a successful person like that, in show business like that. I'm a success at my craft. I'm a success at, at who I am, what I do, you know what I mean? I'm a success as a parent, you know? But I'm not quote unquote successful in music. I don't, like, show business, no. There's no success that makes me want to compromise my moral beliefs or present an image uh, that perpetuates death, murder, mayhem, or anything like that. So I don't say I limit my opportunities. I just choose what I will do, what I can live with, and what I don't want to do. I don't want to be on no private jet flying all over the place, singing this and that. I enjoy my life. I want to have a good life. Success to me is personal. It's your personal life. When you get into bed at night, do you feel good? Yes, I do. I'm Mickey Howard, and I rock jazz. You